In this video, we will complete a walkthrough of settings in Jonas Club Management that sync with the online email marketing module, as well as how to view contacts and create segments directly within the email marketing module. First, we'll start with the email marketing module interface. So from here, we'll navigate over to Club Management, Member File, Member Import slash Export, and the Clubhouse Online EMM interface profile. This is where Jonas communicates with email marketing. So as an important note, please do not change any of the settings on this main interface profile as it can break the integration. If any of these settings do need to be updated, please contact our support team and we will be able to assist. So what we're actually gonna take a look at is the member statuses on the right-hand side navigation. This is where we can choose what statuses should be included or excluded from being exported into email marketing. Our installer or someone at the club may have already gone through this list previously, but we do suggest completing a review to make sure the statuses are correct. The first step is to choose whether you wanna use the included or excluded list. You will only need to use one and it's best to use the list that will be shorter. Next, you're gonna go ahead and click on the magnifying glass and this will pull up all your member statuses. From here, looking through the list, all you have to do is double click on that status and it will add it to the list for you. You'll continue to repeat this for each member status to add it to your applicable list. If you have a member status that you don't want part of this list, all you have to do is double click it from the existing list. In the pop-up, just make sure you click yes. Once you have reviewed and done any updates to your member status list, just make sure you click OK. Next, we're gonna take a look at our email addresses by clicking over on Utilities Email. This is where you can choose what email addresses should be excluded from being exported to email marketing. And you can configure these settings as applicable to your club. By default, main business and grid email addresses will be marked and your options are don't change mark all members or unmark all members by default your system is most likely going to be set up for all three email addresses to mark as all members however if you'd like to exclude any type of email address just change your setting over to unmark for all members when integration is completed all the applicable email addresses will be exported to EMM based on the settings within this window. However, you can adjust this on a member by member basis within their member profile, which will be shown shortly. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay to save those changes. Once you've made your applicable changes, we're just gonna click okay to close out of this screen. The next area we're gonna take a look at is our custom fields and member email addresses. So from here, we're gonna go to club management, member file, and set up edit members. This is where you can come in and edit what email addresses should be excluded from being exported to email marketing on a member by member basis. When looking at a member's profile, emails can be found in three fields. The first one is right on that profile screen beside email and this is the member's main email address that is exported to email marketing. Your other email fields can be found in your other address and business on the right-hand navigation. Here is a screenshot of where email addresses are located in a member's profile and a reminder of how the email addresses are labeled within the EMM interface profile. From here, we're actually gonna click on this little email icon with the plus sign. This is where you can drill down those email addresses for a member by member basis. And what you're gonna do is look for EMM. So if there are any email addresses for this member that you don't want exported to email marketing, just uncheck that checkbox and click okay. Now, just a few important notes in regards to member email addresses. If a member has three email addresses, the contact will be uploaded into EMM three times if you set all email addresses within the EMM interface profile, or if you've configured only one email address to come through within the individual member profile. If a member does not have an email address on file, they will not be uploaded into email marketing, and an email address will never be duplicated within email marketing. 
So for example, if a member and a spouse have the same email address, it will only get exported once, and the member with the lower member number will get the priority. Meaning that if the primary's member number is 1000, but the spouse is 1000A, the member with the number 1000 will be uploaded. From the member profile, we can also take a look at our custom fields by clicking on custom info in the right hand navigation. This is where you can come in and review any custom fields that you'd like exported to email marketing. So what you want to do is take note of the number of any of those custom fields as we will be entering them into another area. Once you've written down your custom field number, we're going to click OK and OK from the member profile. And we'll exit out of here as well. Now that we have those custom fields that we'd like to add to email marketing, we're going to go back to our interface profile. So from our member file, we're going back to member import export and over to that EMM interface profile. From here on the right hand side of the screen, we're going to go ahead and click fields. This is where you can come in and choose which field should be included in the export to email marketing. Our default and recommended fields should already be here for you, but if not, you can go ahead and click that recommend fields button, which will add those fields to the list here for you. To add additional fields, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the list and you're going to input the field into the next available row. Custom fields are marked with an M and then the number assigned to the field that you wrote down just previously. So for example, M05. Or if you haven't written down your fields, you can go ahead and click the magnifying glass and that will open up the list of all your fields for you. Once you've added your fields, go ahead and click OK. Now just note, if you've updated your fields, member status, or email settings, you must run a sync. This will make sure any of those changes that you've made will synchronize to the email marketing module. Your Jonas system is set up to automatically run an export, meaning your contacts will automatically be updated for you. That concludes the Jonas Club management setup for email marketing. So now let's take a look at the website portion. In order to access email marketing, we first must just log into our website. So clicking that member login button and go ahead and enter your credentials. Next, you're going to click on your name and within the drop down, we're going to select switch to Club Central. Then from your Club Central dashboard, you're going to look for your email marketing tile. First, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our contacts. So we're going to navigate over to contacts on the left and manage contacts. All the email addresses that have been exported from Jonas will be located in this table here for you. I'm also going to show you how to create a segment. So we'll go to list and segments and we're going to select segments. Segments are dynamic, meaning contacts will automatically be added or removed based on the rules or criteria that you've applied. Common segments that you may be interested in include one for your all active members or specific groups such as your board of directors. To create a segment, we're going to look for that new segment button. And the first step is to define your filter criteria. So to start, I'm actually just going to remove that second filter. When you're adding your filter, in the filter type you always want to choose contact field as this is going to pull fields from Jonas for you. Then using the field, you're going to go ahead and select the dropdown, choose one of your fields from here, or click more. So I'm just going to scroll down, and we're going to choose member status, and click select. Then you're going to choose how you want to define that value. So depending on the field you chose, you may have a long list like this, but there are four main values that we use most often. You have contains, which will look for a loose match of anything you enter. Is, which is your precise filter search and will look for exactly what you enter. Is not, meaning the system will look for anything except what you enter in the field. Or is one of, which allows you to do a multiple search for the same field. Just note if you are using a custom field that utilizes a checkbox, you'll be able to select from either true or false or different types of values. 
So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and do is. When you're entering your values, you want to make sure you're inputting them the same way you have within Jonas. You can either use the abbreviation or the full description that you have within Jonas. So for example, I can put active. While you're creating your segment, if you like, you can go ahead and click on this refresh arrow, and this will give you an up-to-date count of how many contacts meet the criteria for the segment. Once you have that set, we're going to go ahead and click next. In step two, we're going to go ahead and give our segment a name. And it is helpful to name your segment based on the filter criteria you applied. So for example, this is my all active members. For segment type, you want to keep this at dynamic because that's what will automatically update that segment for you. And the description field is optional. It is for internal reference if you want to provide a brief description on what this segment is going to be used for. Then at the very bottom of the screen, it does give you a breakdown of what you applied for that segment criteria. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click finish. From the main segments page, you can go ahead and check mark the box beside your segment. And on the right hand side, it'll tell you how many contacts meet the criteria for that segment. And you can actually view contacts within the segment. Then at the bottom, it will also indicate the filter criteria you've set for the segment. Now that you've watched this video, please notify your project coordinator and they will send you a link to sign up for an upcoming email marketing webinar, which will walk you through all the basics of utilizing the email marketing module, and it is highly recommended to attend this webinar prior to sending your email campaigns. If you have any questions from this video, please also reach out to your project coordinator.